Okay, we're making another YouTube video because it's President's Day and it's the day before speeches are due. So I know there are some of you cramming and you're trying to remember anything I said in class and you're maybe feeling overwhelmed, maybe feeling stuck. And I asked multiple classes for um, some questions. I just wanted questions. Where are you at? What are you having trouble with? So here are some of the questions that I'm getting. And I want to answer these um, while we're not in class. And maybe you'll be watching these at midnight when you're putting your speech together. But hopefully it will help. Let me just share with you really quickly. On Blackboard, I have a sample informative outline. It's not perfect. It's pretty wordy. But the template for you to use is on Blackboard. I just need you to download it. And then when you look at that intro and there's that Roman numeral one, then there are four parts of to your introduction. The first part is attention getter. I don't need you to write word for word everything you're going to say. I don't need you to say Albert Einstein once said that it wasn't that I was smarter. It's just that I stayed with problems longer. When I say keyword format, I just mean you just write Albert Einstein quote. Now on your note cards, if you need to have the quote, have the quote, but on your outline, you're just summarizing what you're going to talk about on each section. Do not leave your transition statements off your outline. And when you cite a source in parentheses, put the author and the year. In parentheses, put the author, comma, and then the year. And make sure that citation is in your outline where you're citing it. So if you're saying, um, according to the American Cancer Society, one in two people will have some form of cancer. I just made that up. For that one in parentheses, you could put ACS for American Cancer Society, comma, in the year. I have posted a sample good MLA reference page. You'll see it in the announcement for, um, for this week. So if you're looking for, okay, what is my reference page supposed to look like? That is there. Also, your, if you're struggling with how to find your survey results, that is also under helpful handout. So some people are asking, what do I do with that? Um, a couple people have asked, I'm uh, struggling with my credibility statement, my ethos. What is that supposed to look like? Really? You're answering the question. Why should we listen to you? What's your link to the topic? If you were to sit down with me and we were writing this together, I would say, why did you choose this topic? Um, I'm a huge Astros fan, or I've been a fan of I've been playing The Legend of Zelda since I was little. I really love it. You're just going to tell us why you picked the topic. Now, you can be honest and vulnerable. You can say, hey, had trouble deciding on a topic. Had one, didn't really take. I ended up landing on this one. It's okay to do that. Just tell us your link. Um, a couple of people said, I'm struggling um, with my main points. I cannot stress this enough. We want to learn something we don't already know. So when you're putting those main points together, talk about three benefits of blueberries or the three players from the Astros you want to talk about or three parts of one player. So maybe we're going to talk about Jose, Tuve, Jose Altuve. I really do know how to say his name. Jose Altuve, the man. Jose Altuve, the father, the baseball player. The philanthropist, just somebody who gives money back to the community. That is helpful. Um, another question that I'm getting is, um, how do I cite my sources? How do I cite research? Again, I mentioned this before, but in your speech, you're going to say, according to Plank, according to an article in ESPN Magazine, according to an article in Wired Magazine, according to the Journal of American Medicine, according to um, whatever article, you're just going to say that and then say the information. Do not quote information and not tell us where you got that information. Now, people are saying, okay, what do I do about attention getter? Really struggling with that. Um, if you can't think of anything, just ask a rhetorical question. Have you ever wondered if Taylor Swift really does write about our relationships or not? Have you ever wondered what a famous baseball player is like behind the scenes? Have you ever thought about 
three cool taco restaurants you could go to. If you can't think of anything else, ask a question. Also, come up with a vaguely connected quote. Um, I'm gonna like just read some of these because I got a new desk calendar and if you come to my office, I'll give you a quote to take with you. Freedom does not mean being free of something, but to be free to do something. Um, Laura Ingalls Wilder said, every job is good if you do your best and work hard. A man who works hard stinks only to the ones that have nothing to do but smell. So maybe you talk about the three benefits of hard work or setting goals. It's present say, so I'm gonna quote my favorite, Abraham Lincoln, who said, the probability that we may fall in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause we believe to be just. It shall not deter me. So if I was giving three motivational tips for um, persevering or just pushing through or supporting what you believe in, I would say, I'm going to open with Abraham Lincoln. I would say Abraham Lincoln once said that the probability that we may fall in the struggle ought not to deter us from the support of a cause we believe to be just. It shall not deter me. And then I might transition to our culture today. Maybe psychologists say 60% of people don't believe in a cause and haven't really adapted that. Kristen Wenwick, Renwick is a great author, wrote a book called The Heart of Altruism, that believing in something bigger than yourself and giving yourself to that actually creates this thing inside you that generates a feeling you can't get any other way. And then I might transition to a credibility statement that just is this. I'm passionate about people doing something for someone else and believing in something bigger than themselves. And then I might transition to my thesis statement. I'm going to give you three tips of how to find a passion or find a cause or um, persevere if you have been discouraged. So then I would talk about those three, I would list them. Then I would say, first, I'm going to talk about this. And then I would talk about it. Second, this, then talk about it. Um, I have a bunch of them, so I'm not going to bore you. Loyalty to, to petrified opinions never yet broke a chain or freed a human soul in this world and never will. There are politicians with petrified opinions, but I won't go into that. Okay. So let me just check and make sure there are no other questions that I'm getting. Most of them have to do with, okay, what do I have to turn in? Outline, reference page, survey with results. Now, um, print those, bring those to class. Your outline should not look like a paper. It should not be paragraphs and paragraphs. You're just using keywords. First, I'm going to talk about the symptoms of um, indigestion <laughs> and then you're just going to say symptoms of indigestion and then you may have sub ones that just say the two kinds of symptoms but you'll elaborate in your speech then you'll have a transition statement now that I've talked about symptoms of indigestion I'm going to transition to treatment of indigestion then you'll have a couple um, tips there if you are let me just clarify you're turning an outline, you're turning a reference page, you're turning in your survey with results. How to calculate your results is on Blackboard under helpful handouts. There's a sample outline on Blackboard under ha helpful handouts. There's a template for you to download and type that is the outline exactly how I want you to turn it in under helpful handouts. I'm posting in this announcement and then the announcement this week, a sample MLA reference page just like you would an English paper. Um, if you want to use APA, that's okay. Um, but you may have to Google and find um, sample APA. It's a little bit different than MLA, but most of you, if you're taking comp, have taken comp. Um, MLA is what you're familiar with if you're writing English papers at all or history papers. That's the one you're familiar with. I want to just end this video by just saying what I said in class, but if you weren't there, listen, hear my heart. One, you will not feel ready, I promise. Two, you will panic and not want to do this. Three, you will be intimidated by someone else's speech who you feel like is greater. But at the end of the day, we want to hear your message. I want to hear your message. We want to see your eyes. We want you to connect with us. And showing up and doing your best, even when you don't feel fully prepared, speaks volume to your work ethic, volume to 
your ability to persevere, and it is a huge indicator of your future success. So show up. You can do this. I believe in you, and I'm excited to see your speeches this week.